The COVID-19 pandemic has hit the world with the strength of an invisible tsunami, devastating lives and economies, overwhelming societies, and putting decision makers and health services under enormous stress. As key players in business and trade, customs administrations have been under pressure to facilitate and expedite the movement of relief and essential goods and ensure the stability of the global supply chain. Being committed to supporting its members and maintaining the continuity of customs operations, the World Customs Organization's Secretariat, with the financial support from the Government of Japan, launched the COVID-19 project in July 2020. The project aims to improve the ability of customs administrations in developing and least developed countries to deal with the impact of unpredictable and disruptive scenarios, such as those stemming from COVID-19, other infectious diseases, and natural disasters. Its work is based on three components, the drafting of the WCO guidelines on disaster management and supply chain continuity, capacity building activities, and the provision of IT support and equipment. Whenever disasters or any disruptive events happen, speedy provision of relief goods becomes the most urgent issue. Therefore, customers should be well prepared to deliver relief consignments to affected populations as fast as possible by overcoming importation bottlenecks. The WCO has a long history of work in the area of emergency preparedness and response, fostering synergies with the stakeholders of the humanitarian supply chain. It has provided customer administrations with technical guidance, operational assistance, and the capacity building in this respect. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, the WCO assisted its members in developing the necessary tools and sharing best practices to efficiently tackle the global health crisis. In tackling the global crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the critical roles of the WCO Secretariat and Customs Administrations have been fully recognized in the efforts to minimize its impact on our societies and economies through realizing the facilitation of trade under such challenging situations. Japan is therefore pleased to provide financial support for the WCO's COVID-19 project to improve the capacity of customs administrations in responding to the pandemic. Japan appreciates the various WCO activities to address this global challenge and looks forward to further fruitful implementation of this project. The COVID-19 project helps WCO members in bringing together customs, other governmental agencies, and humanitarian aid actors to analyze, with the support of WCO experts, the customs procedures for the importation of relief consignments, to review them according to the latest WCO and international organizations' instruments and tools, and to test them on the ground during ad hoc simulation exercises thus streamlining operations according to national needs. Il y a eu également des exercices de simulation qui a permis de tester les guides et qui a permis de d'apporter des améliorations et pour le cas de Madagascar cet exercice s'est coïncidé à l'aune de du cyclone Batsirai. Je tiens également à remercier l'Organisation mondiale des douanes dans la coordination, la prise en main et surtout avoir, avoir choisi Madagascar pour être bénéficiaire de ce projet. Jamaica Customs Agency takes seriously its role in national emergency response and management and one of our main objectives during or post an event is to facilitate the flow of well-needed supplies and equipment to the people of Jamaica. As a member of the World Customs Organization, we are thankful to the WCO for this workshop, which is geared at technical guidance and best practices towards improving our ability to respond and recover from future disruptive events. Considering the health challenges brought about by COVID-19, the WCO encourages to implement contactless procedures to maintain social distancing. For this reason, the project is also providing beneficiary countries a mobile app and hardware equipment 
for the submission of customs declaration by inbound air passengers. Data is entered by the traveler, temporarily stored in the application and sent to the customs tablet via EQR reader. Customs authorities can then treat the information, thus significantly improving the safety and efficiency of border operations. Until today, more than 100 countries in several regions and facing different hazards and threats benefited from the support provided by the project and made important steps forward in tackling COVID-19 and enhancing preparedness to respond to future disruptive events. The Asia-Pacific region has significantly benefited from the COVID-19 project and I would like to express my sincere thanks for carrying out particularly relevant activities following the virus outbreak. The project has been very effective in disseminating critical information and organizing regional and sub-regional workshops, fostering the exchange of members' experiences. The organization of the workshop was timely and allowed to deal with important aspects of disaster relief, such as the importation of relief goods. Infectious diseases, trends, and climate change confirm that the fight is not over and that customs administrations will continue to play a leading role in tackling unpredictable events for the foreseeable future. All countries are concerned and should be adequately prepared.